Hey everybody, welcome to Bernardo Tech. Today I want to talk about the new Outlook that Microsoft is developing. If you use Office 365 and particularly the Microsoft Outlook app, you might have noticed that in the upper right corner there's an option to use the new Outlook. And it's my understanding this is a complete rewrite of Outlook. And I suspect that is actually the case. Uh, even though it looks pretty similar when you switch to it, you'll feel pretty much at home with the way the interface looks. There's a couple of uh, glaring issues that I've run into with it that I think um, might be deal breakers for some of us. And so I wanted to explain what those are. So the first one is that it currently does not have any offline capabilities. So if you um, close Outlook and disconnect from the internet and try to relaunch it, again, relaunching that new version, it will not launch. It will give you an error message that simply says, uh, I need internet access to be able to work. And um, that, of course, is a, a big problem for some of us that carry our laptops around and maybe want to check historical emails, um, even though we're not online. And also, if we want to, say, add a calendar entry uh, when we're not connected to the Internet, the old Outlook lets us do that. And then when we're back on the Internet again, it synchronizes those changes. The new Outlook won't even let you launch it when you're offline. That being said, I'm, I'm told or I understand that Microsoft is supposedly working on fixing that problem and allowing the new version to work offline. But there's still some uncertainty over exactly how that offline mode will work, whether you'll be able to add calendar entries when you're offline or simply view them. So that remains to be seen. The other issue I've encountered with the new Outlook has to do with multiple email accounts. So I have two Microsoft 365 email accounts that I use with Outlook. One of those accounts is a plan that includes a license for me to use the installed applications. In other words, I can install Word, Excel, and Outlook, and PowerPoint, and so forth. That license includes those installed apps. My other Microsoft 365 account for my other email address only includes hosted exchange and the web-based applications, Word and Excel and Outlook. Now before, that didn't cause any issues with me using both accounts in Outlook because the old version of Outlook, uh, since I've installed it using a valid license with my primary Microsoft 365 account, I could still add that other email address in to Outlook as a secondary email address and it worked fine. Now when I try to do that on the new Outlook, I'm getting an error message saying that the license does not support that. So it appears like Microsoft has either changed their licensing policy or perhaps is enforcing a license policy that, frankly, I didn't know about. It seems like in order to use that second email account in the new Outlook, I'll have to pay a higher price per month to use it. Now the strange part of all this is that I'm not aware that Microsoft has has made any kind of statement about that. I didn't look too hard, um, but I don't, I haven't seen anything yet. The other thing that's odd about it is that I originally did not have that problem with the new Outlook, but then when I came back later to use it, it was not letting me use that second email address. And more recently, when I went to try again, it's now working again. So I'm not sure if this is by design or if it's a flaw, but in either case, it makes it very difficult to use if sometimes when I launch it, I cannot get my second uh, email account to work. If that is by design, it's kind of an odd decision by Microsoft because Outlook presumably could still connect to a, you know, an IMAP, you know, generic IMAP email or perhaps a, a Gmail account or whatever. Those accounts don't have a license for the installed apps included in them. So it seems a little odd that Microsoft would penalize those that are using Microsoft hosted email and not let those accounts be added to Outlook when they would allow a competing um, email address or an email address with a competing service to connect. So those are two of the, the show-stopping things I ran into with uh, the new Outlook. Hopefully they all will be solved in the future. But if you have anything you've encountered that you would like to mention that we might find useful, uh, put that in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.